Hi guys, Daz here with Comic Core 33. I'm very excited, we got a con, a local con on Sunday in Gloucester. So I'm really excited. I've been trying to save a few pennies for that, so I've kind of cut back on the books this week. But having said that, I've still probably got 20 something. So <laughs> let's get into them. First off, of course you go to the LCS, they hand out some freebies, don't they? So we've got the Marvel preview there, Marvel Universe. Of course, these DC Nations aren't a bad read, are they? So uh, this is issue, is this issue five? Yeah, issue five. Cool Batman who laughs on the front there. Finally got some books through from Forbidden Planet that we ordered a long time ago. Uh, just second copies actually, so these could make nice prizes at some point. Of course, we got Batgirl, and this is issue twenty-seven, Middleton Magic. We got a Teen Titans twenty-two. I think that's an Alex Gardner cover. Love that one. We ordered this weeks ago, and of course. You don't think they're going to send them because I'm still, I've got, I think, 11 open orders from Forbidden Planet at the moment. So I went and bought one in the shop and then a few days later it turns out. Go figure. Uh, Forbidden Planet sent this one to me, but the corner was a little dinged. I wasn't too happy. This is Justice League Dark, issue three. And this is the first cover appearance of the Upside Down Man. Now, I think it also debuts Wonder Woman's new powers. And this is an Alvaro Martinez and Raul Fernandez, Fernandez sorry, cover. He's one of the better characters that DC have introduced of late. And like Marvel, you know, they're trying to get a bit more originality. Uh, Marvel, too many mashups. Uh, I had to grab the copy of Stranger Things issue one. I'm not the biggest fan of the show. To me, it was a little too strange. But this is the regular Alexi. Rick Lott cover. This one I've been I showcased weeks ago. I just think this is an absolutely stunning cover. I'm not a Power Rangers fan, but I had to grab this. Uh, I think it's issue 31, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the first appearance of the new Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team. It was Ranger Slayer, original Pink Slayer, uh, Green Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Andros the Red Ranger, Manga Defender, Dark Ranger, and it's also the first appearance of this character in the visor. The first appearance of the Solar Ranger. And this is the variant Miguel Mercado, Mercado sorry, cover. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's one of the best covers of the year for me. Another comic, the, cover, uh, the corner wasn't the best again. This is Edge of Spider Geddon, issue four. And this is the first appearance of Norman Osborn as a Spider Man with six arms. That's the regular Aaron Kudar, uh, Kudar cover. Watch Comic Vantage's uh, review. Great stuff as always. And uh, he shouted out this book. But this book has been shouted out by various uh, people on the forums too as a book that is probably going to get optioned. Uh, I like the premise. There's a guy in there who just beats people up, and he's uh, he does it for the the good of man apparently. So he's he's kind of like a baddie, but a goodie, kind of maybe a red hood. But I do like his image and his look. And this is a uh, dead rabbit from Image. Uh, I like that cover. And this is a John McCree cover. He basically just beats up bad guys. That's always a good thing, really. Also, pick this one up. Like I say, I've got 11 open orders. I've ordered all the big books. Whether I get them, that's another thing. You know, I know my Deadpool 5 uh, Garbage Pail Kids homage. I've ordered a couple of copies of that. They have been shipped, so I'm excited for that. But I'm still, you know, I've ordered the Matina, for instance, and the Witching Hour, so I don't know whether I'll get them. Uh, sometimes it's just, don't, I just don't get sent them, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, another book I picked up with the first appearance, this is Shatterstar. Issue one. 
like the cover again. This is a Yasmin Putri cover. He's quite hot at the moment for uh, Red Hood. And uh, this is the first appearance of Gringrave, a female Mojo World combatant. So excited to read that one. Of course, Shatterstar appeared in Deadpool 2, briefly. <laughs> now, uh, like I say, I went to my LCS, the first one. Slim Pickens was hoping that they, they said they would possibly be able to get some Batman damned in, of course, so I should have known that's fallen through. Um, still on the lookout, still gutted I can't find one because I am not paying 50, I refuse. Uh, 30 is my max. So then I went to another LCS because they didn't have the books I was looking for and it was shut. But whilst it was in the first one, the trip wasn't a total bust because if you've been following my hot book alerts and they're coming out quite frequent, um, I have showcased uh, a couple of books of late from Scout Comics. And for 50 pence each, which is an absolute steal because this book is going for 40 plus online at the moment, I managed to find two copies of Long Lost. I do you like that cover? This is going to be a TV show, I believe, on Netflix at some point. It's been optioned. We know it's not a, uh, a certainty, but uh, it's cool. This is my favourite kind of spec in when you just you get that spec and the next day you go out and you find it cheap. You never know what will happen. And as well as that, for another 50 pence, I managed to find more issue one. Another one I showcased. So that was a... For 50p, I'm, I'm laughing and I, you can't go wrong. This is the regular cover. Um, I have ordered online the free comic book day mall because I think that predates this one for a couple of quid. So, yeah, look out for the mall and long lost Scout Comics, both of them to be made into TV shows. Now, like I say, I've got a big con on Sunday. I'm very excited. I've, I've Paid already for a photograph with Brian Cox, who has been in so many great things like the Born Identity. Um, he's too big a star for the Gloucester Call. Um, what else was he in? He was Braveheart's dad. Yeah. Uh, but for me, the reason I'm paying for a photo is because he is he was, of course, a uh, striker in X-Men, an X-Men 2 movie. So I picked up a bundle of books for, I think it was £5.40, and these three came um, X-Men Special, this is the movie, uh, X-Men Movie The Special. UK publication, X-Men Movie. That's with, uh, obviously photos of the characters. Movie adaptation. But the reason I paid for the £5.40 was for this one, X-Men 2. Movie adaptation, because... I am hoping to get it signed by Brian Cox. Now this is like a prestige format. So I have ordered the single issue of the X-Men 2, which I'm hoping to be here by Saturday. So I can get that one signed instead of this one. But this is a fallback book for me. Be nice to get it signed by Brian Cox. A rare success of late at the car boot. Now I... Of last year, I think it was, I picked up a, a Spider-Man Batman crossover where they fight Joker and Carnage. Now, I was at the car boot on this Wednesday. I, I found another, well, I found Batman Spider-Man again. I thought, oh, I got that. But then I looked closely and I checked my phone. And this is one I didn't have. It's prestige format. And this is Batman and Spider-Man. Paid 50 pence for this. Now, it, it's got... It's got a bit of a mark on here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a, you know, there's a couple of little creases there. But for 50p, this is where they fight um, Kingpin and Ra's al Ghul. So I've got both of the crossovers now with Spider-Man and Batman. So that's a nice book to find. 50 pence. Two, bay, two eBay purchases to finish up. Of course, everyone's chasing down Batman Damned. And... I thought it was a time to strike on a, a very low printed independent title that I'd been looking for for ages. And uh, when it first came out, it was £6. 
I paid 15 so I'm delighted with that price because this is a £30 plus book all day long. It still is on eBay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is... Now, I think it's... Is it Source Point? And this is the Rejected. Prestige format. And there was only 1,600 of these printed. But spooky looking character. It's black and white inside. Um, but I do like low printed books. That's something that I've, I've started to collect more of. So I'm delighted with that. The Rejected. Could well be optioned at some point and then this book will fly. It still is flying. It's, it was hot. It's been in CBSI Top 10 uh, for a couple of weeks prior. So, yeah, happy to get that one for 15 And my final purchase of the week is some Silver Age. Yeah. If the Legions of Super, Legion of Superheroes ever gets optioned, I mean, they've made appearances here and there, like in Smallville and in the Supergirl TV show. Uh, but... Uh, and I think a couple of these characters, they had a, a Legion of Superheroes um, animated show at one point, And I think that some of them appeared in it. Um, there was a movie with Mr. Miyagi, the Kratty Kid. Now, the Kratty Kid, if you check the end credits, apparently the Kratty Kid movie had to ask DC Comics for rights to use Kratty Kid as a title because of this book. And this is Adventure Comics 346. And this is the first appearance of Kratty Kid, who is Val Amor. Ferro Lad, who is Andrew Nolan. Princess Projectora, who is Valoria Voxel. Nemesis Kid, who is Heart Druider. And it's the first appearance of the alien race, the Kunz. And this is also, which is a good one, the first Jim Shooter story. Now, this is pretty good. This is probably a five, five and a half. I paid just £8.49 for that. It's got a, it's got one little crease line, if you can see up here. But besides that, it is very sweet. And it's four more char characters to be knocked off me encyclopedia, which is always a good thing. But like I say, uh, when the Kratty Kid film came out, because DC owned the rights to the Kratty Kid character, the, the film rights had to ask permission, and of course DC allowed them to use it. So just a bit of useless information that I always do. I thought I'd show a, a few of the rogue rogues off because uh, I'm still waiting on my Matina 36 that is, for some crazy reason, going at 50 quid already, a uh, book that came out on Wednesday. So, obviously, it's a new format now. Daz's uh, news round will be out on Monday again. But uh, that doesn't stop me showing, of course, it's Daz's spec time. And the books that are coming out this week. Of course, we're going to start with this beauty. I think this one is going to be Art Germ's book. Because, as we all know, Art Germ... His work is generally always fantastic, but his work is mass produced. I think that this cover, if any of his covers are going to do anything, is this one. And this is Catwoman, issue four. Get on that one, guys. I ordered that weeks ago. I think that is his best one yet. Uh, what else have I got lined up? I have. Yes. I had to grab this one. I'm going to be grabbing this one. This is, I showcased this a while back. This is the Adam Hughes. Love that. Superman 4 variant. What have we got next? Thinking about getting this one. Not 100%. This is uh, Putri again. And this is Red Hood 27. The variant. A lot of good books coming out this week, mainly for the covers. We've got Elric, the White Wolf 2. Or is it Noel from Venom? Look at it. Look at the comparison. That's insane. Looks 
almost identical. That Elric Whitewolf what issue one variant was uh, a big book. Delighted to get it. Uh, up next, this is a, a comic. I mean, I picked up the Domino Annual uh, last week, which had a first appearance of Reject. But this is the, the, the regular, because I think there's only one cover of this, of Domino 7. Now, this is uh, from artist David Baldian, if I'm not mistaken. And that is a beauty. And that is getting a lot of buzz talk on the forums at the moment. That is Domino 7. Moving on. I'm not a fan of Frizen. I don't like Jenny Frizen's work generally, but this is one that I might go with. And this is the variant edition of Wonder Woman 56. One of her better ones. Up next, I have just a regular cover because there's something apparently a first appearance may be appearing in this issue of Donny Cates' Run of Venom. This is Venom 7. Now I think it's something to do with it, the infant symbiote. Okay, There's going to be a first appearance, I believe, of Venom 7. So get on that one. That's been up, probably the hottest book since his Thanos actually. And finally, the one I'm grabbing, there's a ton of foil covers coming out this week guys. Um, it's just a gimmick. Apparently, this the, the quality of these foil books are not great. So uh, be careful of even fingerprints of really marking. But this is the one I like. And again, it's from Art Germ. And this is Supergirl 23. I might go with the Flash 55. Uh, is it 57 as well? No, 56. Because I'm a Flash fan. But that is uh, Art Germ's Supergirl. And that's it, guys. That's uh, Daz's haul of the week like i say there's going to be two hauls next week hopefully i'm gonna have a big one from sunday uh really excited i want some big ones and uh what else does his news around monday and stay tuned for my new series of um showcasing my books and of course my hot book alerts which seem to be going down pretty well so take care guys that's daz over and out see you soon